Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and uh, we're going to get straight to a market update, and none other than Ant Shares is all over the place today, so no surprise to you. Um, Ant Shares is popping. We had quite a large sell off of Ant Shares right after um, the markets opened up in Asia. Um, already uh, building up some ground again. Um, the percentage up is starting to go down because about this time last night it started making its run. Um, so you're not seeing as big a gains, but at one point today we saw 200% um, on Bittrex up 24 hours. So keep that in mind. Um, still the majority of the volume coming out of China. And uh, right here you can see some updated uh, volume on Bittrex and some other Chinese exchanges. So um, there is more to talk about in regards to the market. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at CoinCap. And uh, what I want to go over with you guys right now is the Bitcoin dominance. Right now it's at about 37.6 as you can see right here. And uh, basically we're at an all-time low uh, yet again for Bitcoin dominance. And uh, what is going on with Bitcoin? Um, well, it's not Ethereum anymore because Ethereum is losing a little traction, a little losing a little bit of heat. Um, it's all coming from this guy right here, Litecoin, making a huge run. And then, of course, Dash, even though people don't like to talk about Dash. Uh, I don't know why they don't like to talk about Dash, but Dash um, has proven to uh, move, uh, move well. It's up to $200 now. So anyone that uh, was wise enough to hold on to their Dash is doing quite nicely right now. So uh, essentially those two big movers um, over the last few days is really taking a uh, chunk out of Bitcoin. Uh, besides that, the entire market is up right now. Sitecoin um, blew up a little bit overnight as well. Um, and that's actually part of my news is that they have this mysterious announcement called uh, Obelisk coming out soon um, they say that you'll know all about it once they decide to talk about it so it's a teaser guys um, and uh, of course everyone is speculating and buying early uh, sooner than they probably should because we don't know what this is maybe they decided to get rid of their name and uh, who knows maybe they're just rebranding <laughs> We actually don't have any answers, guys, but what we do have an answer to is uh, it passing Golem, which is an imp impressive feat by the Sitecoin that was once a sub-penny blockchain not that long ago. So congrats to everyone in on that early. Um, besides that, um, that's the majority of what's happening in the top 20 right now. Um, be on the lookout for Litecoin. It's being very volatile this evening, jumping $3 up and down. Uh, back and forth, and uh, a lot of people uh, called the $50 mark long ago, um, and now it has hit the $50 mark, but I've been hearing a lot of bullish people, a lot of technical analysis people say that uh, be looking for it to make a run up to 70 before a significant pullback. So, very interesting. I don't know, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell anyone to purchase said Litecoin here, but... Um, Something to keep an eye on. That's that is a significant increase if it were to do that. Um, and uh, I think what's happening, and this is only my opinion, my opinion is that Litecoin and Dash is seeing this big run because of the potential hard fork uh, threat. Um, you know, the the rush to do a soft fork can can potentially lead to issues with Bitcoin. So we have this Bitcoin dilemma right now. And uh, no one knows what's really going to happen. Now, what's interesting is the markets have responded quite nicely with Bitcoin um, since the announcement. Um, and it's up about 1% right now over the last 24 hours. Nothing special going on here. Uh, just another day in the office for Bitcoin. But um, surprisingly, uh, everything seems calm. Calm water, smooth sailing. So I think we may have seen a lot of that initial money that was scared get pulled out in that last big dip that we had because of the hard fork threat. So, very interesting. All right, moving on from that, um, I want to talk a little bit about Status I Am. Um, I, I talked about Status on my video um, the other day, and it looks like, unfortunately, uh, no one in the US 
is going to be able to get in on this one. Uh, they are blocking IPs straight up in the United States. So uh, you, you other people out there in the world, congratulations if you want to get in on this one because no one in the U.S. will. All that being said, there's, there's still kind of mixed feelings on it, um, on what's really going on here. Um, I've heard some claims that it's a scam, and I really don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it other than I think it looks great. Um, everything looks to add up. I would think that one of these partners that they're claiming to be a partner with would speak up and say, that's not us by now. I would hope. I would hope. Um, so anyhow, just something to keep in mind with the status network ICO. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, one last thing I want to do is I want to talk about Factum. Now, some of you may have caught my, my big amateur mistake the other day, and so I'm going to be honest about it. And um, I accidentally picked up a uh, press release that was dated the right day. It was the right day, but not the right year. Um, it was voted all the way to the top of the Factum Reddit, and uh, I got excited about it and was like, sweet. I was going to do a video on Factum. I'm going to read this press release. Well, I ended up looking pretty stupid. I won't lie. Um, and so my mistake. So I pulled that video just because of that. So what I want to do is go over what I actually went over in that video in regards to Factum. Um, and I'm actually kind of disappointed because, as always, whenever I make a video about something, it goes up in value. I'm just on, I just have that track record as of late, according to you guys in the comments. But please do not buy anything just because I talk about it. That would be silly. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Um, don't put it on me, guys. Um, don't do anything I suggest. Um, you know, I have targets and I have predictions like everyone else, and that's just kind of the fun part about it. So Factum, making quite a run um, as of late, actually. Very impressive run. And uh, let's go ahead and back it up and let's see where it's sitting right now. So Factum is 24th overall, sitting at $34. I remember when this baby was back in the teens not long ago, and uh, it's even up a good 4% today. So Factum is uh, is very strong. It's got very uh, low number of coins in existence, not that many. Uh, let me get the exact count here. Um, only 8.7 million, which is extremely low. Any of you that have been around for a while know that that's really low and um, thus the higher price. Um, so a couple things that I really, really like about Factum is, um, first of all, uh, they're, you know, they're backed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, they have the backing of Homeland Security. They've won an award from Homeland Security, like they were officially recognized a year ago as you know, a, uh, a solution um, for Homeland Security. And um, they have uh, some great products that they've commercialized really well. And right here on your screen, you can see three core ones. Um, and uh, then they have some other ones hiding at the bottom of their page called Apollo, Iris, and Hera. And those are, those are interesting ones as well. But essentially what Factum does is they take the concept of a ledger, right? Uh, a ledger like Bitcoin that essentially is holding... Um, just holding a little piece of information, which is essentially how much money is in a wallet, right? They basically um, are taking that same concept, but they want to put documents into the blockchain. So very interesting concept. And uh, basically mortgages, for example, all the mortgage paperwork that exists, um, they can actually put it all on the blockchain and help prevent um, any confusion about the offer that you've made on a house, any confusion about when it's time to close a deal. Um, just so many applications for where documents can be stored. Now, what's interesting is that if you go down here at the bottom of the page, and if you can see right here, it actually says how many records they've actually basically put onto the blockchain. 
pretty significant number. It's up a million since I looked at it last, which was yesterday. And so this is a potential indicator for success, something that you can potentially track uh, how many records are getting uploaded. So the, the actual usage is down here. Something to know about Factum is that it does actually burn coins over time. Um, and eventually they will be actually uh, leveling that out by creating coins to give out to data centers. So, you know, guys, traditionally uh, blockchains um, proof of work is usually done by miners, right? You could mine if you wanted to. And so and there's also big uh, corporations and businesses that are mining, but you can actually do it yourself at home. Well, when you're doing that, you're actually confirming the transactions and maintaining the blockchain network. They're going to do it differently with Factum. They're not going to allow any of that. No amateur hour. Um, and uh, essentially, they are going to have these federation servers, is what they're called. And they are going to be... They're going to have to be like massive data centers in bunkers underground somewhere just because of this sheer amount of volume. Um, there's really not going to be that many data centers from my understanding. But they will essentially be rewarded in fact um, for helping secure their network um, and essentially by issuing those coins to them and by burning they're hoping to find this equilibrium to where uh, it ne neither goes up or goes down um, and e and likely if factum catches on which i think it will uh, there's probably still going to be more burning than uh, sharing of coins going on, or the creation of coins. Um, so, Factum is uh, an interesting play if you're considering it for your portfolio. It tends to be quite stable um, in the past where there's downturns. It still goes down a little bit, but it doesn't usually uh, suffer significant losses. It is backed um, or supported or a partnership uh, with Homeland Security right now. And they are actually working with uh, Japan's social security system with basically setting up social security um, to be immutable and ensuring that, you know, no one can actually screw up the social security system and all the numbers therein. So um, real world application. But they are in bed with the governments. Uh, they are located out of Austin, Texas. They are doing everything um, um, as a private company would do things. And uh, you need to keep that in mind. Now, for some people, that's a huge turnoff, right? It's 100% centralized. But for other people that are looking for business opportunities, um, this is one of the best that you'll find um, in the business world right now. So consider Factum um, in your portfolio. And again, I just wanted to go over that because you guys probably missed it because that video got pulled so fast. But I did want to make sure everyone knows that I'm living up to the mistake. And I apologize uh, for that again. But hopefully you guys learned something about Factum and hopefully you're inspired to go learn more about it. I personally am uh, very, very excited about it. And I think you will be too if you start going and exploring each of the different applications. Um, and again, it is it is extremely centralized, but maybe some of you like that. Maybe some of you feel like that it, there's a section of your portfolio where that can fit in and help you diversify uh, in case of some type of future regulation, right? So just something to consider. Uh, all that being said, because they're based out of the United States, you have to ask yourself how much of Factum um, is reaching over into other countries where it may not be translated properly and people have trouble understanding it. Well, um, who knows? I can't really answer that, but there may be more in store for Factum as, they're, uh, as they continue to climb up the ranks. Uh, they've made a very hard push again up to the 20s. Um, I can see Factum breaking $100 uh, by the end of the year, potentially, if as long as the market as a whole continues to go up. It's starting to look like uh, the market cap could be $200 billion by the end of the year at the rate we're going. And if that's the case, 
factum just doesn't need that much to uh, hit the hundred dollar mark based on where it is right now so that's pretty much it guys on factum I appreciate appreciate you guys stopping by as always if you like this type of uh, information please subscribe shoot me a like we're trying to hit 2,000 followers uh, this weekend so that's the goal so please help me out by subscribing I'd really appreciate it. we can hit 2,000 and uh, also if you're on steam it make sure you hop over to steam it we're trying to shoot for 300 followers on steam it and uh, steam it is awesome because if you go over there and you upvote my videos You'll get rewarded for upvoting. You will actually get rewarded in cryptocurrency that has actual value. You can actually take it, go put it on an exchange, and turn it into whatever cryptocurrency you prefer. Maybe you'll buy some Factum with it, but make sure you guys head over to Steemit and give me an upvote um, and follow me there as well. And that's pretty much it. As always, I am the king of dew. May the force be with you. You have a good night.